Welcome to our deep dive all about digital marketing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of slides to go through. All right. Um, and our mission is to kind of give you a solid understanding of what digital marketing is, okay. how it's evolved, some of the core concepts. Gotcha. And, uh, and really how it stacks up against traditional methods. Yeah, it's a whole different world now, you know? It is. The old playbook doesn't really apply. Right. So much has changed. Okay, so first things first, what exactly is digital marketing? Well, it's essentially using digital technologies to market products or services. Hmm. So think websites, search engines, social media, right. email, mobile apps, really anything digital. You know, okay. It's also sometimes called data-driven marketing. Oh, okay. Which just highlights how important data analysis is in this field. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Data seems to be at the heart of everything these days. The name of the game. So speaking of kind of core concepts, these slides mention something called the seven C's of digital marketing. Right. What is that all about? Yeah. The seven C's are a really great framework. Okay. For understanding the key principles of digital marketing. Okay. And it all starts with content. Okay. You've probably heard the saying, content is king, right? Oh, yeah. That's everywhere these days. It's true, though. Okay. But what does it actually mean in the context of digital marketing? So in this context, it means that creating high-quality, valuable content is essential for attracting and engaging your audience. No. Oh. But it's not just about churning out any old content, right? Right. It needs to be compelling, informative, relevant. Tailored. Yeah, tailored to your target market. So how do you make sure that your content stands out? I mean, there's so much out there. Right, exactly. How do you cut through the noise? It's a crowded space. Yeah. Well, think about it this way. You're competing for people's attention. Mm. And attention is like the most valuable commodity these days. Yeah. Everyone's vying for our attention. Yeah. Exactly. So your content needs to be good enough to cut through that. Right. Right. It should offer something unique, solve a problem, or entertain your audience. So it's really like you're a storyteller. Yeah, in a way. Trying to capture your audience's imagination. I like that, yeah. So you've got the content piece. Right. The next C is convenience. And yeah. this is all about making it easy for your audience to consume that content. Exactly. Think about how frustrating it is to navigate like a clunky website or if you can't find what you're looking for. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah, you just leave, right? Immediately. So your website needs to be user friendly. Okay. Easy to digest, seamless experience. So kind of creating a smooth path for your audience. Exactly, yeah. Okay, what about customization? Ah, customization. How does that fit into digital marketing? It's all about tailoring your marketing to individuals. Oh, wow. Or specific segments of your audience. Okay. Think about those personalized recommendations you see on Amazon or those ads that seem to know exactly what you were just looking at. It's a little creepy sometimes. It can be, yeah. But it's also really effective. Yeah, it is. It feels like they're speaking directly to me. Right, and that's the point. How do they even do that? Data. Oh, okay. Digital platforms collect so much data about us. Right. And then they use it to personalize our experience. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, next up is collaboration. Right. This one sounds interesting. Yeah, this one's all about engaging in a two-way dialogue with your customers. Oh, okay. It's not just about broadcasting your message out there. It's about listening to feedback, responding to questions, creating a sense of community. So it's more like a conversation. Exactly. Than a lecture. Yeah, much more engaging that way. Yeah, for sure. A great example is when brands use social media to interact with their customers, respond to comments, even solicit feedback. So it's like turning your customers into collaborators. Exactly. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it can be really powerful. Okay, and then we've got context. Context is all about understanding the circumstances surrounding your marketing message. Okay. Think about it. You could have the greatest product in the world, mm -hmm. but if it's not presented in the right context, it won't resonate with your audience. Like, what do you mean by that? Okay, imagine you're selling winter coats, right? Okay. If you start advertising them in July, it's probably not going to be very effective. Right. No one's thinking about winter coats in the middle of summer. Exactly. You need to understand your audience's needs and tailor your message to the right time and place. So context is all about timing. Yeah, and relevance. Making sure your message is aligned with what your audience is thinking about at that moment. Okay, so we've covered content, convenience, customization, collaboration and context. We're on a roll.
What about the last two C's? All right, so the next one is conversation, which builds on collaboration but emphasizes the ongoing dialogue. Oh, okay. It's about fostering a genuine conversation, building relationships, establishing trust, creating that sense of loyalty. So it's like inviting your customers to be part of your brand's journey. Exactly, yeah. And finally, we have convergence. Yes, convergence. What does that mean in this context? It recognizes that in today's digital world, all these different marketing channels are kind of blurring together. Right. Yeah. It's not enough to just have a website, a Facebook page, and an email list. Yep. You need to create a seamless experience for your customers across all those channels. So it's like weaving together a tapestry of digital touch points. I like that. Yeah, it's about creating a consistent and integrated brand experience no matter where your customers interact with you. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay, so we've mapped out the seven C's. A foundation. Yeah, those guiding principles. Exactly. Now let's move on to the different types of digital marketing. Right. There are a lot. There are a lot, yeah. Um, so let's just start breaking it down. We see an example here of email marketing mm. with an Amazon email for software deals Okay. sent to someone named Susan. Right. What is that all about? Email marketing is about using email to promote your products. Okay your content discounts. <laughs> Top of mind, nurture relationships, and drive those conversions. Yeah, and it feels personalized. Like, yeah. it's just for me. Exactly. We also have an example here of online brochures. Oh, yeah? Featuring Hugston Homes and Faircloth Realty. Okay. What are those all about? Think of online brochures as digital versions of those traditional print brochures. Ah, okay. They're great for showcasing products, services, properties right. in an interactive and visually engaging way. Okay. You can include videos, images, links to more information. Yeah. You know, make it more immersive. Okay, so it's like bringing a traditional marketing piece to life online. Exactly, yeah. Now, the slides also talk about organic marketing and paid marketing. Right. What's the difference between those two? So organic marketing focuses on attracting customers naturally through methods like SEO. Social media engagement, content marketing, email marketing. It's, matcha. it's about earning your audience's attention and trust over time. So like planting seeds yeah. and watching them grow organically. Exactly. A good analogy. And then paid marketing is? Paid marketing as well. Paying to reach your target audience. Okay. So things like PPC advertising, mm. display ads, video ads, sponsored social media posts. Gotcha. So it's a way to accelerate your reach. Exactly. Yeah. Are there any other types of digital marketing that we should be aware of? Yeah. A couple more key ones. Mobile marketing is huge these days, obviously yeah. with the rise of smartphones. Right. It's all about reaching your audience on their mobile devices, you know, through mobile optimized websites, apps, mobile advertising. Everyone's on their phones all the Probably time. All the time. Yeah. So you got to be there. Right. And then finally, there's reporting. Okay. Which might not sound as exciting as some of the other types. Right. But it's absolutely crucial for understanding what's working, what's not. So reporting is kind of like the feedback loop. It is, yeah. It's about analyzing data, tracking your KPIs, and making adjustments to optimize your campaigns. Gotcha. So all of these types kind of come together to create a digital marketing strategy. Exactly. They all play a role. So we've got the principles, the types. The building blocks. Yeah. What are the objectives of digital marketing? So the main objectives are to reach the right audience, engage them with your message, and motivate them to take some kind of action. Okay. That action could be visiting your website, making a purchase, signing up for your email list, whatever aligns with your business goals. So it's not just about getting your message out there. It's about connecting with the people who are actually going to be interested in what you have to offer. Exactly. It's about targeting the right people and getting them to take meaningful action. So how do marketers go about achieving those objectives? What are some of the techniques? Well, there's a whole arsenal of techniques that we can dive into. Okay. But before we do that, I'm curious, what stood out to you so far about this whole world of digital marketing? I think what's really striking me is how dynamic and multifaceted it is. Yeah, it really is. It's not just about creating a website or posting on social media. It's about understanding your audience, crafting compelling content, using data, creating a seamless experience across multiple channels. It's a lot. It's a lot to keep track of, but it's also really exciting. Yeah, I'm definitely intrigued. All right, well, let's dive into those techniques then. Okay, let's do it. Okay, yeah. let's dive into those techniques. All right, so let's start with one you've probably heard of. Search engine optimization or SEO. SEO, yeah. Remember how we talked about 
making sure your website ranks high in search engine results. Yes, it's like prime real estate in the digital world. Exactly. If you're not on page one, you might as well not exist. Right. So how do you get that top spot? That's where SEO comes in. Okay. Imagine you have a website selling, let's say, handmade soaps. Okay. What do you think people would type into Google to find those? Hmm, probably handmade soap. Yeah. Actual soap. Maybe gifts for soap lovers. Exactly. Those are your keywords. Okay. SEO is all about optimizing your website so that when people search for those terms, Google recognizes your site as relevant and valuable. So it's not just about stuffing your website with keywords. No, not at all. It's about making sure Google understands what your site is all about. Right. You want to use keywords naturally in your website. Mm. Content, page titles, image descriptions, even the code behind your website. So it's like you're speaking Google's language. Yeah, you could say that. But it's not just about keywords, right? No. Google also looks at things like how fast your website loads, whether it's mobile friendly, if other websites are linking to it. It's like Google's giving your website a thorough inspection. They want to make sure they're sending users to high quality websites. Right. Makes sense. The better your website performs in all those areas, the higher it will rank. Okay. So it's like getting a gold star from Google. Something like that. Now, what about content marketing? Ah, uh, yes. Content marketing. How does that work in practice? Content marketing is all about creating and sharing valuable content that attracts and engages your target audience. Okay. Think blog posts, articles, videos, infographics, social media updates, really anything that provides value to your audience. So going back to that handmade soap example, what kind of content could they create? Well, they could write blog posts about the benefits of using natural soap, create videos showing how they make their soap, share behind the scenes glimpses of their workshop on social media, Right. offer free ebooks with soap making recipes, get creative. So you're creating a whole world around your product. Exactly. Offering value beyond just the soap itself. You're providing helpful information, entertaining your audience, building a community. And that builds trust and loyalty. Absolutely. When people feel like a brand understands them and provides value, they're much more likely to become loyal customers. Okay, so we've got SEO, content marketing, Let's talk about paid advertising. All right, paid advertising. This is where you put some money behind your marketing efforts. Okay, so this is the pay to play aspect of digital marketing. In a way, yeah, the most common type is PPC advertising, pay per click. PPC. Where you essentially bid on keywords related to your business. Gotcha. So when someone searches for those keywords, your ad might appear at the top of the results. Right, I've seen those. Exactly. And each time someone clicks on your ad, you pay a small fee. Okay. It could be very effective for driving traffic and generating leads. But it sounds like it could get expensive. It definitely can, which is why it's so important to target your ads carefully and track your results. Make sure you're getting a return on your investment. Exactly. You don't want to just throw money away. What about social media advertising? Ah, uh, yes, social media ads. I see those all the time on Facebook and Instagram. Everyone does. It's become a huge part of the digital marketing landscape. Why is that? Well, social media platforms have so much data about their users. Right. You can target your ads based on demographics, interests, behaviors, even people who have visited your website before. So it's super targeted. Super targeted. And because social media is so visual, right? you can create these eye-catching ads that really stand out. So it's a good way to tell your brand story visually. Absolutely. It's a powerful platform for that. Okay. So we've got SEO, content marketing, paid advertising. What about email marketing? Email marketing is still going strong. Really? Oh, yeah. It's all about building a direct relationship with your audience. Okay. You can send out newsletters, share special offers, announce new products, provide helpful information. I actually love getting emails from brands I like. Me too. It makes you feel like you're part of something. Yeah, like an exclusive club. Exactly. And it's a great way for brands to stay top of mind and nurture those relationships. Plus, you can track your results really closely. You can... You can See who opened your emails, clicked on links, even made a purchase. It's like having a direct line to your customers. It is a very valuable channel. Speaking of direct lines, what about mobile marketing? Mobile marketing, well, it's all about recognizing that people are increasingly using their smartphones to access the internet. Right. So you need to optimize everything for mobile. Okay. Your website, your content, you can even create mobile apps. And a lot of those apps use location data. They do, yeah. You can target people in specific geographic areas. So it's about being where your customers are, literally in the palm of their hand. Exactly. And because people often use their phones to search for information on the go. Right. Like restaurants near me. Exactly. Mobile marketing can be incredibly effective for driving that immediate action. 
Okay, we've covered a lot of different techniques. We have. It's a lot to take in. What are some of the key takeaways for our listeners? I think the first takeaway is that digital marketing is not one size fits all. Okay. It's about finding the right mix of techniques that work for your business, your audience, your goals. So it's like creating a custom recipe. Exactly. The second takeaway is that digital marketing is all about creating value for your customers. Whether it's informative content, targeted ads, excellent customer service, it's got to be valuable. So building relationships, not just pushing products. That's a great way to put it. And what's the third takeaway? The third takeaway is that this landscape is constantly changing, so you need to stay up to date. Right. Keep learning. Keep adapting. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Well said. Okay, so before we move on to the benefits of digital marketing, yeah. is there anything that's particularly intrigued you about these techniques? I think what's fascinating to me is how targeted and data-driven these techniques can be. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's like you can pinpoint exactly who you want to reach and tailor your message specifically to them. It's a level of precision that we never had with traditional marketing. Right. It's so much more precise. That's one of the biggest advantages of digital marketing, and we'll dive into those advantages next. All right. So we've really explored the core principles and the techniques yeah. of digital marketing. Um, it's clear this That's is... a powerful toolbox. A powerful toolbox for any business. Absolutely. But let's talk about why it matters so much. Right. What are those benefits of going digital with your marketing efforts? Well, digital marketing offers some real game changers. Okay. Compared to those traditional methods. Okay. First and foremost, it puts a consumer in control. Hmm. Think about it. You have the power to research products, compare prices, read reviews, all before you even step foot in a store. That's so true. I do that all the time. Everyone does. It's, I'm empowering. Yeah, to be an informed consumer. Exactly. And this shift in power means businesses have to adapt. Mm. They can't just push out messages and expect people to blindly follow anymore. Right. Digital marketing allows businesses to meet consumers where they are, providing the information and experiences that they're seeking. It's all about giving the people what they want, when they want it, yeah. how they want it. And speaking of how they want it, convenience is a huge factor. Digital marketing provides a level of convenience that traditional marketing just can't match. Hmm. You can shop online 24-7 from anywhere in the world without ever leaving your couch. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. It's pretty great. Um, and it's not just about shopping either. Right. Man, I can research anything, learn new skills, connect with people. The possibilities are endless. All at my fingertips. Exactly. And all this convenience leads to increased customer satisfaction. Makes sense. When you have a smooth, enjoyable online experience, you're much more likely to come back for more. It's all about creating a positive customer journey. A happy customer is a loyal customer. Right, and happy customers lead to brand loyalty. You got it. Which is what every business wants. The holy grail of marketing. Right, to have customers who love your brand so much yeah. that they become advocates. Word of mouth is incredibly powerful. For sure. Now, beyond customer satisfaction and loyalty. Okay. Digital marketing also offers significant advantages when it comes to efficiency and cost effectiveness. Okay, so tell me more about that. How does it save businesses time and money? Well, think about those traditional methods like print advertising or television commercials. Right. They can be incredibly expensive, right. and it's really hard to track their effectiveness. It's like throwing darts in the dark, hoping something sticks. Exactly. With digital marketing, though, you can target your audience very precisely. Okay. Track your results in real time and adjust your strategy as needed. So you're not wasting money. No wasted spend. You're making sure every dollar counts. So it's much more data driven. It is. You can actually see what's resonating with your audience and optimize your efforts for maximum impact. Okay. You mentioned data earlier. Yeah. How does data play a role in measuring the success of these campaigns? Data is everything. Bro. It's the key to measuring ROI and understanding what's working. Hmm. Digital marketing offers a wealth of data and analytics. Okay. You can track every click, every conversion, every interaction. You can see which campaigns are driving the most traffic, which content is performing best, which channels are generating leads. It's all there. It's like you have a microscope on your marketing effort. Exactly. This data allows you to constantly refine your strategy, optimize your campaigns, and make data-driven decisions. So you're not just going with gut feeling anymore. No, it's all about using data to make informed decisions. Okay, so we've covered the benefits of digital marketing. Yeah. It's clear that this is a powerful approach. It is. For connecting with your audience. Absolutely. 
But as we wrap up this deep dive, right. what's the one big takeaway you want our listeners to remember? I think the most important thing to remember is that digital marketing is all about building relationships. Okay. Yes, it's about technology. It's about data. Right. But at its core, it's about connecting with people on a human level. So creating a sense of community, fostering trust, providing value. Exactly. If you can do that, Mm -hmm. you'll be well on your way to success. This has been an incredible deep dive. It has. Thank you for sharing your expertise. My pleasure. You've given me a whole new perspective. I'm glad to hear that. On the power of digital marketing. Well, remember, this is just the beginning of your digital marketing journey. Mm -hmm. There's always more to learn, more to explore, and more ways to connect with your audience. So keep learning, keep but experimenting. Keep that digital spark alive. Great advice. Well, that's it for this deep dive into digital marketing. That was a good one. We hope you've enjoyed the journey and gained some valuable insights. Yeah. Until next time. See you next time. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep.